Yes, we drummers like to talk about where it hurts. I'm pretty sure most of us have experienced that pain in the front part of our lower legs at some point when we first started playing double bass. So in this video we'll talk about why this happens and how we can get rid of that sharp pain in our shin muscle, the tibialis anterior, once and for all. One thing that I have seen over and over again with our students at the Drum Technique Academy is that the drummers that face this issue most frequently are drummers that have spent a lot of time practicing heel down in the past. When using the heel down technique, we are using our calf muscle to push down on the footboard. This causes the beater to travel towards the bass drum head and then right after the bass drum beater hits the bass drum head, we use our shin muscle, the tibialis anterior, to lift our foot again. This technique is working perfectly if you want to stay balanced at all times, since both heels are always resting on the floor and it's perfect to play soft this way. That's why this technique works great in a chest setting if you just want to feather the bass drum. Now when a drummer that's used to playing heel down a lot switches to the basic heel up technique, it's pretty common that he's using a mix of the muscle groups in his upper and lower legs. The issue here is that although it would be enough to just use his calves right now, he will still tend to incorporate the shin muscle as well to lift his foot off the pedal. And today I'm going to show you a way to get rid of that shin muscle involvement. By the way, if you want me to cover a specific topic in one of our next tutorial videos, then just comment below. It actually sounds really simple. Just relax your shin muscle and use your hip flex and calves mainly when you switch to the regular heel up technique at slow and medium tempos. But those of us that have tried to do this know how difficult it can be to overcome certain habits and motion patterns that are stored in our muscle memory. So here's one hack to solve this. We are going to change the position of our drum stool. This new drum stool position will bring our upper body and especially our upper and lower legs in a position where it's easier to rely on our calves while relaxing our shin muscle as much as possible. Here's how this works. Move your drum stool closer to the pedals. You want to sit in a way that your knee joints are actually closer to the bass drum than your ankles. This way you bring your lower leg in a position where it's actually really difficult to actively use your shin muscle to lift your foot off the footboard after the beater hits the bass drum head. This way you will automatically rely on your calves more. But be aware that you don't have to sit like this forever. Just spend some time getting used to that foot and leg position. Once you've learned how to relax your shin muscle and your calves start to take over, you're then good to move your drum stool back again. To get used to this new drum stool position, I'd first recommend to start playing with each foot separately for long periods of time. We don't have to worry about speed right now. We just want to focus on playing for long periods of time, staying as relaxed as possible while just using our calves. So do this exercise with your stronger foot first. Then do the same exercise with your other foot. And then finally finish by combining both feet. 